Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn various aspects of data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code, which is regarding big countries, and try to walk you through how we can approach such kind of questions. So let's jump right in. So here we are given a table called world with five different columns, name, continent, area, population, and GDP, where name is the primary key for this table. Also, it is being defined that a country is big if it satisfies one of these two conditions. So if it has area of at least 3 million or it has a population of at least 25 million. So now we are asked to write a SQL query to report the name, population and area of the big countries and the order of the result does not matter. So let's go through this example. So in this case, we are given five different countries, Afghanistan, Albania, Algeria, Andorra, Angola, right? Uh, and now uh, we are to find which of the out of these five countries, which of these are big countries. So here the output is Afghanistan and Algeria. So there were two conditions, right? Either area is greater than 3 million or the population is greater than 25 million. So in this case for Afghanistan, the area is not more than 3 million, but the population is definitely more than 25 million. And for Algeria, and if you see for Albania, it is, uh, neither uh, the area is not uh, greater than 3 million as well as the Albani as the population is also less than 25 million so for for algeria the area is less than 3 million but the population is more than 25 million and for andorra and angola like none of those conditions satisfy so that is why we are being returned afghanistan and algeria okay so let's go ahead and build this query so from this table called world, so from this table world, we are only to keep those records where either the area is greater than or basically at least, so at least means greater than or equal to this value. or the another condition is the population of this country is at least 25 million so basically again greater than equal to this and which all columns are we required to return name population and area so return name population and area so yeah let's go ahead and run this query okay so this is accepted and our output is as same as expected output and let's submit this to see if it passes all the test cases and yes it does pass all the test cases and yeah so this is how we build queries and think about logic in such questions let me know if you guys found this video useful and I will see you guys in the next video.